showed you how to prep whatever you're doing the paint job on and then after we finished prepping the riser what we were doing the paint job on uh, Grayson went on ahead and did a little bit extra with the limbs so he's going to tell you about that yeah guys on this PSC Coyote I figured it looked really sweet if we uh, did went with a little AT style paint job where the riser is camo and the limbs are black so as you can see I laid down uh, a couple thin layers of black paint so as not to inhibit the action of the limbs um, turned out really smooth. I still need to clear coat it, but th that'll be pretty simple later on. Um, in this video, we're going to show you how to finish the multi campaign job. We're going to take you through the process of cutting out your stencils and drawing them and laying down your base coat and all the coats thereafter and even your clear coat. Um, before we do the stencils, we're going to apply the base coat. This is going to save us a little bit of time. Because while the uh, base coat is drying, we're going to do the stencils, and then by the time we're done with the stencils, the base coat should be dried or close to dry. So, let's go ahead and get started. Alright. By the way guys, the paint that I'm using is this Krylon Camouflage Tan. So this is our base coat right here. Alright guys, just like the primer, you're just going to apply the base coat smooth, even, thin layers. Um, you know, work it consistent, try to cover the whole, the whole bow or whatever you're painting in a thin layer of base coat. Alright guys, I've got five sheets of poster board here. I'm going to take one of them and I'm going to cut it about in half. take one of the halves and I can use my hat as a guide or whatever but I'm just gonna kind of freehand some multicam that process and um, after we after we get you know six or seven done we can just go ahead and start cutting them out I'll show you how to do that too but for now I'm gonna keep drawing a few um, you want to mix in a couple that are just a few small dots something like that that's one and then you also want to have some bigger, possibly longer ones. I kind of think of them as, as like a lake. Looks kind of like a lake. And, and you can always add something out there. So that's a longer one. And keep going. these eight stencils 
and now we're just going to go through and cut them all out which is going to take a long time and it and it's a pain in the butt but it'll be worth it here we go I got my Krylon camouflage dark brown. This is one of the trickiest parts. I'm doing a fade on the riser. So I'm gonna have dark brown fading to light brown and then dark brown another, another time, fading and then dark brown again. And you wanna do that all over the riser and probably about into thirds on this, on this project. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I'll, I'll try to do it as best I can. It's a little bit windy, but we'll see. found an area that's kind of secluded from the wind and we're going to start off with hosta leaf and one of our stencils and we're just going to spray paint and then rotate the stencil some and spray paint a little more and rotate the stencil until we got pretty good coverage. So let's try it. Start down low. you need to take it slow you don't want to get smudges on your paint you don't want to wipe part of the paint off so be sure the paint is dry before you go on to the next color of stencil and uh, if you do that you'll have a much better looking paint job at the end all right guys now we've got our ivy leaf gloss and we're going to do the exact same thing just layering where there's not as much green and uh, do, just do the exact same thing different color <laughs> 